Dalaj Lama je v České republice nejpopulárnější zahraniční osobností. Vítejte v České televizi. Děkuji, že jste přijal pozvání do otázek. Thank you. Pokud byste měl říct jednou větou či jedním slovem, jaký je váš vztah v České republice? Jaké slovo či větu byste použil? Since my first visit, then very, very newly independent nation and uh, have wonderful president Havel. So at once we develop very, very unique close friendship. So I always remember that. So I admire under his leadership the popular sort of movement for democracy, uh, for freedom. Really wonderful. Česká republika si připomíná letos 20 let od sametové revoluce. Na co by podle vás Češi, Moravané a Slezané měli myslet v souvislosti s 20. výročím, kdy Československo a Česká republika získali svobodu? Indeed, uh, it is very, very important carry celebration for the memory of the uh, event in 20 years ago, what happened. Uh, so while I think the real way, uh, real meaning of celebration is you should carry same spirit at 20 years ago as you have. Some kind of truthful, fearless, and thinking uh, interest for the common people or whole nation. I think that's very important. Because sometimes uh, people are quite nature, quite quite because of the nature. And, uh, sometimes you see the things desperate, more united. Uh, things become a little bit easy. Then self-centered attitude then sometimes you see it uh, stronger. So that is not good. So you should keep that spirit which 20 years ago happened. Uh, still, you see the 20 years in the history of a nation or community, very short. So uh, with freedom, you also have the heavier responsibility to individual uh, and also the community. So I think that spirit must keep continuously. Vy bojujete uh, dlouhodobě za uh, svobodu v Tibetu, náboženskou, jazykovou, kulturní. Uh, pokud byste měl Čechům přiblížit, v čem ten boj je podobný, jako byl ten boj před víc než 20 lety tady v Československu. Stejná analogie. Jaká je? Yes, of course. Uh, there are many similarities. We want uh, freedom, uh, religious freedom, and also freedom to preserve one's own cultural heritage, these things. Uh, and also, uh, we very much want the freedom of speech, freedom of thought. Uh, but differences, you see, we uh, do not seeking separation or independence from China for our own interest. Tibet materially very, very poor, very backward. Uh, so therefore, it is our own interest to remain within the people of China so that material prosperity, material development can develop more fastly or more Effectively. So, uh, that part, I think, differences. We are not seeking separation. But basically, uh, uh, in generally, a fight for freedom is the same. And fight freedom with rule of terror, <laughs> authoritarian system. Similar. <laughs> Pokud byste měl říct, v jakém stavu je teď, když jste mluvil v 
leto, loni v prosinci v Evropském parlamentu, tak jste i evropským novinářům řekl, že vidíte ten dialog a výsledek dialogu s čínským vedením čím dál skeptičtěji. Změnilo se něco zásadně? Oh. No, not change. Still, uh, the government attitude still same. Accuse us and most important, the inside Tibet, the suppression, immense. Not only in autonomous region of Tibet, but outside autonomous region of Tibet, uh, actually in four Chinese provinces, Qinghe province, Gansu province, Sichuan province, Yunnan province, in these four Chinese provinces, uh, there are large number of Tibetan ethnic groups there, which constitution itself, you see, mentioned in these states, there are Tibetan ethnic groups there. So the constitution also provided uh, some, some form of self-rule, that's autonomy. So autonomous region, that's Tibet area, and then autonomous uh, district, autonomous county, autonomous prefecture in four Chinese provinces. So uh, in all these areas, the suppressions are very strong. And sometimes I describe whether intentionally or unintentionally some kind of cultural genocide is taking place. Because you see, some of these hardliner communists, in their eye, the Tibetan separate lang language, separate so, script and culture, they consider that's a source of threat of being separate from mainland China. So, but look, India, huge country, over a billion human beings population, uh, East India, West India, South India, North India, different language, not only different language, but also different script. Each, each of the people very proud, their own unique script. Uh, so with that, some different <laughs> cultural heritage also there. <coughs> but no worry to split it to split because there's freedom a rule of law under law everybody equal not like chinese case <laughs> communist case <laughs> pokud byste měl říci zda vnímáte tlak západu na dodržování lidských práv v číně včetně postoje číny k tibetu vnímáte ten tlak jako efektivní efficient i think i should say no But there are, I mean, there are many factors, you see, difficult to pursue China. Uh, but I think judging from various factors, Tibet issue, firstly, quite old, about 50, 60 years past. And from the West, this Tibet issue, Tibet is very far. So no direct sort of, or should say, link or Western interest. Uh, I think mainly Western nations take Tibetan issue uh, on the basis of Tibet case is just issue and also issue of human right and the right of religious freedom, these things. So uh, Western people, Western nations, you see, uh, really showing genuine concern. It's really great, very, very helpful. So I think the, I think interest about the Tibetan culture and also is a certain Buddhist sort of knowledge about the human mind, human emotions uh, in this field, even among the Western modern scholar, modern scientists also, you see, showing keen interest you see, to find ways and means to, to tackle our emotions such as depression and anger hatred like that so so because you see the interest about Tibetan culture about 
Tibetan Buddhist science, especially science, Buddhist science of mind or emotion. Uh, so therefore, you see, showing interest from the West, also Tibetan culture, these things also you see increasing. Therefore, the naturally you see the more and more people showing concern about what's happening inside Tibet. Vy často mluvíte při svých návštěvách Evropy o tom, že se až příliš západní svět upírá na materiální stránku. Globální svět postihla před víc než rokem ekonomická krize. Myslíte si, že se západ poučil, co se týče přechodu od toho materiálna k jiným hodnotám? I think it's quite simple. We have this body and mind. So material facilities provide comfort for this body. Uh, material cannot give comfort on mental level. So mental level, we need uh, some kind of spirituality so that mental level, you can keep peace, comfort, and self-confidence. I think one example. Uh, Uh, this uh, global economic crisis happen. Those people who only think about money, uh, who believe money is everything, then I think this crisis really bring maximum disturbances in such people's mind or such people's life. Then those people who, of course, everybody is to consider money is important, useful. Uh, uh, however, uh, there are other human values, uh, such as human friendship, human affection, these things. So, for example, a family where, a family or community where the, uh, what's the day, uh, full of affection or friendship, then this money crisis may not disturb much to such people because they consider they pay more attention about other value, internal value, mental value. So material value, in any case, there is limitation. Uh, so I think this crisis in a way helpful to understand the value of material there's limits uh, and now today's world the gap rich and poor on global level as well as national level i think maybe check maybe less is it like america or uh, india even now china and so uh, and russia gap rich and poor is immense Uh, so, this gap, not only morally wrong, but practically also source of problem. We have to address this, this problem, this issue. Uh, so then, the uh, question of nature resources, uh, if you see six billion human beings living standard raise more or less equal. So that means, you see, southerners, uh, their living standard raise up to the living standard with northerners enjoying then uh, according to the sort of uh, little over six billion human population i think nature is also already question questionable so therefore we have to think very seriously uh, about the limitation of the material i say the material progress and the material values Uh, in any way, in any case, uh, it is very, very important to pay more attention about our inner values. That's, I think, very, very important. And now some, some scientists also now begin to think, begin to in, carry investigation uh, through sort of training of mind. The person's health also improve, blood pressure reduce, the stress or tension also reduce through mental training. So some scientists in the West, in America, already carrying some uh, sort of project as a experiment 
So these things are uh, very important, in particular in medical scientists. Now they begin to uh, find the emotions are very, very important for our physical health. Vy uh, bojujete za lid v zemi, kde jste se narodil. Uh, mnoha lidem na západě ukazujete cestu. Existuje něco, co vás osobně trápí? V čem bychom mohli my pomoci vám? I think firstly, uh, study about today's reality. Uh, then, then according to reality, what you can do, and then think and try to explore different ways. Now I think <laughs> the, the issue, there are a few aspects. One aspect, of course, human right violation, these things, uh, a violation of religious freedom. But then another aspect, environment issue. Uh, major rivers which cover whole Asia from Pakistan up to China. All these major issue, major rivers, basis of, I think, over billion human beings' life. So these rivers originally come from Tibet, Tibetan Plateau. Now some scientist expert about the ecology, uh, last year I met one, you see, he noticed one article wrote by some Chinese academician about ecology. They state the uh, rate global warming 0.1. The Tibetan plateau, the rate of global uh, rate of warming, they say 0.3. So if the present sort of uh, situation remains continuously, then within 15, 20 years, uh, some of the major river will dry, will dry like that. So then immense disturbances for millions of people which their life depend on uh, uh, on these rivers, including millions of Chinese. So therefore, we need special sort of, uh, sort of the protection about the environment. So this is not just interest for six million Tibetan people, but billions of people in that part of the world. So these things, I think the, since this is the a non-political matter. These are Chinese own interests and therefore with full cooperation with Chinese academician or Chinese sort of as expert in ecology, work together what is the best way to protect. I think West, I think it can make some contribution in that aspect, I feel. Some expert. Go there with full cooperation with Chinese expert and do more research. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.